time to energize the body and loosen up all of these stiff tight muscles and just make ourselves feel really fantastic yoga is a way to nourish the body with movement so let's come over so we're on all fours and just start on your knees and on your hands and then just gently tuck your toes underneath you and I want you to bring yourself straight up to down dog Push the heels to the ground and push down through the heels of the hands and just think of really lengthening through the spine, through the back of the legs. Often when we just start yoga, our body almost feels like concrete and things feel really stiff. So I just want you to breathe here and just acknowledge how the body's feeling at this point. If you're doing it in the morning, it's a completely different experience than doing it in the evening. There's no right or wrong time for you to do yoga. It's just about being aware and listening to the body. Just bring a bend through one foot, push the heel down to the ground and bend the other side. And then take it over to the other side. Fingertips are spread on the ground, switch it over. You're pushing evenly through the hands. One more each side. And down. And there, just ease yourself forward into a plank. Drop to your knees if you need to and ease yourself down to the ground. Take a breath, roll the shoulders and ease yourself up. Take the eyes up and just hold here. Pull the shoulders down away from the ears and really push your sh from your hands all the way up into the shoulders. And then just gently rock from side to side, just twisting around the corner. Just feel one side of your body lengthen. And then over to the other side. Come back. Over. Then just tuck your toes underneath, lift the seat bones, and lift yourself up. Step one foot through between your hands, place your fingertips by your hands and lift up through your head. As you do that, lift your back kneecap so your back leg is really strong and push powerfully through your back leg. Then inhale, lift yourself up into a lunge, pull the hands back, lengthen the fingertips right up to the sky, arch back just a touch, just feel a long opening through the front of that hip as you lean back, then ground the heel, open your body to the side, lengthen out through the fingertips and then sink down into your legs, but try and relax your shoulders as you do this. And then with a strong focus, look down the line of your middle finger. Breathe in and out through your nose and into your belly. And bring yourself back into a sun warrior. Again, open through the whole front of the body and lean back. Think about keeping your back leg strong as you do this. So squeeze that back thigh muscle so that your kneecap stays in a safe place. Then cartwheel yourself down to the ground, turn onto your toe at the back leg, and bring yourself back into down dog. Let's come forward, lower down strong, knees are your option. Always bring yourself up. If you want to come a little higher this time, the thighs stay off the ground as you lean back. And then pull yourself back. From here, step your other leg through, lift up powerfully, open through the front of the body, and again, sink low into your lunge, and then just play with looking up, see how your balance is today. Imagine somebody pulling your fingertips up to the sky, and then ground the back heel and open yourself into your strong warrior again, arms long and eye line down the middle finger. 
try and reach your arms as long as possible. Rib cage is balanced above your hips and then spiral yourself up into a sun warrior. Cartwheel down, hands come down, push back, down dog. Let's inhale, come forward, exhale, lower. Breathe in, up, exhale, come back. Walk your feet in towards your hands, take a couple of steps, feet are hip width apart, and let your whole upper body just fold forward over your legs, arms are really heavy, and lengthen through the lower back. And then just bring your hands to prayer. We're going to bring our hand on the outside of your leg, and then shuffle your feet so they're glued together now. Inhale, lift your chest. So you're trying to get the centre of your hands into the centre of your chest and then open up through your arms. Eyes can be up or they can be down. Just bringing some twist and mobilisation through our spine. Then come down, take it over to the other side. Hands together, lift the chest and then open to the side. And exhale, lower. Hands to the ground, lift the seat bones, lengthen the back, and think of bringing your nose down. Hands come to shins, inhale, lift flat in the back, push the seat bones back. Now I want you to take a big step back with your leg that's closest to me and turn yourself around so you're front on. Tilt your seat bones up and let your whole upper body come forward and rest your hands on the ground. Now wiggle your feet out a little bit wider if you need to. And I want you to push back into your seat bones until you feel a really nice stretch through the back of your legs. The more you tilt your seat bones up, the more you're going to feel this. Just let the whole head become heavy. Again, just breathe. We're going to slowly walk our weight over to one side. Take a hold of that leg and just drop your weight down. You can let your hands stay on the floor or reaching over and taking that leg as you sink low. And just walk back the other direction, over to the other side. And then just come back again. Make sure the heels are pointing out, just come down into that forward fold and really try to lengthen through the spine. From here we want to bring our feet in a little closer, coming into a Hindu squat. So feet are underneath your hips, parallel, drop your bottom down, bring your hands inside your hips. Now lift your spine up so you're nice and tall. And press your palms together. I want you to really think about pushing your knees wide and then just take a turn around the side. Now if you want you can stay here but if you want to take this further reach your hand around clasp your fingers behind you and just take your eyes up to the sky. Then just breathe. Soften. Let's try that the other direction, so the other hand comes behind you, you might find one side is easier than the other, you link the fingers and twist. Great for opening the shoulders, opening the hips, and this side's definitely harder for me. So it's great for bringing the awareness into where we might be tight and imbalanced. Careful, bring your hands down to the ground. Bring yourself down however you can. And I just want you to cross your legs. From here, take a big deep breath in, lift up. Exhale and just let yourself come forward over those thighs and push your seat bones back. And from there, bring yourself up. Bring the soles of the feet together. Hands come behind you and lift the hips up. Then just take a seat. Feet can either stay like this, 
come forward again and just try and melt yourself forward letting the hips drop come all the way up bring both legs over so you're making a 90 degree box with both legs from here I just want you to think of pushing your hip forward here to really feel a stretch right through the front of the hip. Now you can stay here if you want or take it further and lean back with me. So lift the bottom up, arch your hand back and just feel a stretch all the way through the top side of the body through the hip. And just keep lifting the hips up. And then just let yourself lower down. Keep that 90 degree box and let yourself come down through the centre of your front shin as you drop to the ground. Try and lengthen your hands right out onto the ground and just breathe. Okay, let's come up. Take all of that over to the other direction, reposition the legs, again stay here if you need or bring yourself all the way up, arch back, take the eyes down and back, see if you can look around to your back toe. And then just come down, melt yourself down, legs 90 degrees and just bring yourself over that front shin and down. Let's lift ourselves all the way up. Bring the soles of the feet together again. Take a hold of the feet, inhale, lift up. Exhale and just use your elbows to push the knees down to the ground. But keep your spine nice and long this time. Take another breath in, this time squeeze your knees up into your elbows. Exhale. Open your feet like a book as you push the knees down. Close your eyes if you want. We'll just try that one more time. Lift the knees, squeeze them in. And exhale and just melt them down. And you can just uncross the, cross those legs, unhook them. Take a really big deep breath in, lift up. Exhale and bring your hands down through the center. Face is relaxed, shoulders relaxed. And we're ready to face whatever we have got coming up today or we're ready to chill out at the end of our day. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that yoga. If you feel like doing some meditation now, check out the meditations that we've got in the online gym. You can simply sit in this position here let yourself unwind and just slow everything down. A perfect way to end a really nourishing and gentle yoga routine. Comment below, let me know how you found it. Otherwise, I'll see you really soon for your next one.